Greetings. My name is Kevin Regick, and I welcome you to my channel, Conversations from the Hot Box. Here we are passionate about discussing real life issues, and I do so from a Christian biblical perspective. Addresses understanding the impact of deception. So jump in the car and let's ride. Uh, this session is going to be rather, rather short, but it was a uh, birth out of a conversation I had with some uh, gentlemen, both young and old, black, white, as we was discussing the current political climate in our nation. And uh, I just want to share some, some points with you that I brought up to them that really concerns me about where we are as a nation and really as a people and our relationship with each other. Have you ever noticed how some people assume that you won't think about what they're telling you? <laughs> Whether it's a friend, a colleague, a stranger, a family member, or a politician, there are people out there who will say anything for their own benefit. They think you won't take the time to think about what they're saying. But I'm here to tell you that you should always be cautious of those who make assumptions and try to manipulate you. You see, when someone assumes that you don't think for yourself, they are underestimating your intelligence and your ability to make your own decision. They'll tell you what you want to hear. They'll manipulate the truth and twist things in their favor for their advantage. And all of this is because they think you won't think critically. They think they can control you and use you for their own gain and purpose. I can't help but wonder, uh, uh, has this information age and, and social media ushered in the depth of critical thinking? One question I presented to the group uh, that I've been pondering for some time now is, have we become a nation of mentally lazy people? Or have we become comfortable in the realm of thoughtlessness? Now, he here's another danger, the acceptance and regurgitating of lies create a highway for fear mongering and the continuation of more lies and hate speech. And this has been clearly uh, displayed as Louisiana Republican Congressman Clay Higgins proudly demonstrated. Mr. Higgins deleted a social media post calling Haitian immigrants thugs and slapstick gangsters who needed to get their quote ass out of our country. Higgins is the latest Republican to repeat false claims about Haitian immigrants eating the pets of residents in Springfield, Ohio. And this claim was led by former President Donald Trump and his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance. The Haitian immigrants uh, Mr. Higgins was referring to are here largely in the United States legally as part of a type of parole program that allows citizens and lawful residents of the United States to apply to have their family members, members from Haiti come to the United States. Now, although the post was removed by Mr. Higgins, he is reported as saying it's all true. He also told the journalist, I'll say what I want to say. The story has been debunked by several sources, including the mayor of Springfield and the governor of Ohio. Uh, Representative Higgins and others are, are, are putting on full display the politics of hate among prominent members of the GOP. This doesn't have to be, but the choice is ours. Ephesians 5, 17, excuse me, 5, 15, and 17 states, look carefully then how you walk. Live purposefully and worthily and accurately, not as the unwise and witless. <laughs> I like that. 
not as the unwise and witless, but as wise, sensible, intelligent people, making the very most of the time, buying up each opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be vague and thoughtless and foolish, but understanding and firmly grasping what the will of the Lord is. And that's out of the Amplified Bible. Always remember, it's important to question everything in this world and not take anything at face value that comes from this world and, unfortunately, man's thoughts and opinions outside of the Word of God. Use your critical thinking skills and don't be afraid to challenge those who make assumptions about you, about others, about situations and circumstances, or tell you things that just don't make sense. Because at the end of the day, only you have the power to make your own decisions and determine your own path. Proverbs chapter 15 verses two through four out of the New King James Version says, the tongue of the wise uses knowledge right, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. The wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. What say you? I hope you enjoyed the ride today. If you want to accept, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, click on the button above labeled Prayer of Salvation or the link below in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you for spending some of your time with me. And again, please take a second to like this post, share it with family and friends, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, Peace and blessings to you and your household.